Hey, we are beginning the Gospel of John, one of my favorite books of the Bible, and the CA reading plan. And I want to invite you to join us every day of the week for daily touch points. Now, I want you to understand some of the context of this book. John's Gospel is presenting to us what is taking place through Jesus Christ, both in the past, today, and forever. John's taken a really big perspective, and here's what he's telling us. He's saying God is accomplishing something new and different through Jesus. It's so new and different that John paints it in the stark contrast of night and day, darkness and light. John says, this is what it's like that that Jesus has come for you and me. It's like turning the lights on. You ever been in a dark room and somebody turned the lights on and you had to kind of adjust to the light? John says there's some adjustment that takes place in our lives because Jesus has come. And if you and I receive him and accept him and believe that that then Jesus is going to help us to adjust to a new way of life a new way of living, a new way of seeing life, a new way of looking at each other and looking at our circumstances. There is new life with the light sign. Now we're in John chapter 3 today. And in John chapter 3, a man named Nicodemus comes to visit Jesus. But here's the thing. Nicodemus comes to visit Jesus at night in the dark. And we see that Nicodemus is trying to understand Jesus in his context of what Nicodemus under, like, thinks about the world. And, and what Nicodemus has learned through his education and his experience, he's trying to fit Jesus into this, this worldly perspective and understand Jesus that way. And Jesus says to him, wait, 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 Nicodemus, it's never going to work. You're thinking way too small. You're thinking way too limited. It's like you're thinking in the dark. Let me turn the lights on and you're going to see hope you didn't know you could have. You're going to see faith you didn't know you could have. You're going to see new life you didn't know that you could have, because you can see more with the light sign than in the dark. You can see more truth with the lights on than you can in the dark. You can accomplish more with the lights on than you can in the dark. There is hope and possibility in your marriage with the light sign. There is hope and possibility, Jesus says, with him in your relationships and in your finances and at work. And all day today, we can do life with Jesus with the lights on, not on our best efforts, not trying to understand in a limited framework in the dark, but with his truth, with his perspective, with his hope. And that's what, the way I want to live today. And I invite you to receive the one who turns the lights on and ask him and trust him to keep those lights on all day long for you and me, that we might do life with him. Let's pray. Lord, we want that. God, I pray that you would turn the lights on and you would give us new hope for our relationships new hope for our purpose in life, new hope for how we're going to do this day and what we're going to see is possible because you've turned the lights on. What's possible with you, Lord? That's what we want to experience. That's what we want to trust. That's what we want to look for. And we trust it. We believe it because you came to turn the lights on. And so it's in your name, Jesus, that we pray together and we say, Amen.